Hello everyone. So today I bring to you again the noting and drafting series. मैंने देखा था जैसे मैंने नोटिस किया था कि दिस इज़ द टॉपिक दैट यू नीड द मोस्ट हेल्प इन एंड दिस इज़ वॉट यू सर्च फॉर एंड दिस इज़ द टॉपिक दैट डज नॉट हैव अ लॉट ऑफ कंटेंट सो आई थॉट कि इसी पे ज़्यादा फोकस करते हैं एंड बीच में वी विल कीप ऑन पुशिंग न्यू टॉपिक्स जैसे प्रेसी बी सी से रिलेटेड है अदर डिस्क्रिप्टिव राइटिंग स्किल्स दैट यू हैव आई कैन पुश दैम इन सो आज के लिए आई हैव टेकन ड्राफ्टिंग रिपोर्ट ड्राफ्टिंग अ प्रेस कम्यूनिक so these two are on the basis of two emails that I had received and उन दोनों students ने मुझे ये questions भी दिए हैं and uh, I would like to you know say to them के thank you so much for providing the questions and providing the context for me to begin again so now we will begin with the drafting question I got this question from a student and thank you so much for sharing it the post is junior administrative assistant and the exam for which this question is is assam public service commission so now they have asked us to draft a report ab main is he question ko apna blueprint apna source of information everything everything that i require for my answer will be this question and the details that they've given even for my structure <coughs> because when i say blueprint what i mean is the structure how will i go what will be the first priority what will be the second one what will come after that so i will get it all from here only <coughs> if they've talked about relief materials first that means that's priority number 1 then you go to sanitation then you go to law and order and you will see in my draft That this is the order that I followed and बहुत ज़्यादा हमको rocket science यहाँ नहीं लगानी थी बहुत दिमाग लगाना ही नहीं था Always use the question as your blueprint, as the structure on which you will build and the information will also be here. दूसरी चीज़ information and I'll discuss it later on as well is always put yourself in the shoes of the person or the situation being talked about. You will get all the answers from there. इधर भी इफ इट्स अ रिलीफ कैंप इन अ राइट हिट डिस्ट्रिक्ट यू नीड टू डू टू थिंग्स फर्स्ट यू नीड नीड टू पुट योर सेल्फ इन द शूज ऑफ लेट्स ए फैमिली हु वॉज यू नो इन दिस डिस्ट्रिक्ट एंड नाउ इज इन दिस रिलीफ कैंप उन्हें क्या क्या चाहिए होगा उनकी ज़रूरतें क्या होंगी प्रायोरिटी वाइज क्या क्या ज़रूरतें होंगी सोशल मीडिया पर उनको कुछ ट्वीट करना ज़्यादा ज़रूरी होगा या फिर वुड दे रिक्वायर फूड पैकेट्स वुड दे रिक्वायर वाटर बॉटल्स Similarly, when they ask you from the administrative perspective, because you will enter the government, you will become their employee. आपको उनकी तरफ से सोचना पड़ेगा You will be the one on the grassroots working, um, implementing the policies, even at times creating. So, आपको दो चीज़ें करनी है From the fam family perspective or the perspective of a person who has been hit. and the second perspective would be administrative and when you will do that because i did that i did not read on this topic at all and i got the answers how to go on about it so i'm not going to read the question i want you to keep this blueprint that i gave you right now these tips to use the question how to use the question and then you read this question on your own and now we will move on to the structure and approach that we are going to keep to solve this question so after you've read the question what would be your structure and approach forget the format for a minute ke kya format hoga you need to you know remember the format for the draft lekin still structure and approach kya rahegi so first the first thing that you should focus upon is the riot hit area and the relief camps this is the topic that you need to keep your focus on इसके इश्यूज, इसकी रिक्वायरमेंट्स इससे रिलेटेड सजेशंस, इससे रिलेटेड रूल्स इफ यू कैन पुट एनी ओके आई टेल यू हाउ टू पुट इट ऑल इन दे विदाउट यू नो रीडिंग अबाउट इट बिकॉज दैट विल गिव यू द कॉन्फिडेंस कि हाँ एग्जाम में कोई भी क्वेश्चन आ जाए हम तो कर लेंगे हमें पढ़ने की जरूरत नहीं है हमें कोई तीसरा बच्चा आके डराए कि अरे आपने पढ़ा नहीं था आपको इसके बारे में पढ़ लेना चाहिए था तो हम उसे बोल पाए वापस कि हमें जरूरत नहीं है वी हैव द क्वेश्चन टू हेल्प अस आउट सो द डिटेल्स दैट यू शुड टेक आउट फ्रॉम द क्वेश्चन इट सेल्फ आ रिलीफ मटेरियल सप्लाइड और नॉट आप अपने आप को उस पोजीशन में डालिए कि कोई राइट हिट एरिया है फॉर एग्जाम्पल कॉन्टेक्स्ट ये है बट हर क्वेश्चन के कॉन्टेक्स्ट को उठा के आपको अपने आप को उस सिचुएशन में डालना है 
अगर कोई रिलीफ कैंप है राइट हिट एरिया में एंड यू हैव बिन इम्पैक्टेड वॉट वुड यू वॉन्ट एंड थिंक अकॉर्डिंगली थिंक अकॉर्डिंग टू दैट सिचुएशन एज इफ एवरी थिंग दैट द गवर्नमेंट इज सपोज टू डू दैट यू वुड वॉन्ट द गवर्नमेंट टू डू बिकॉज सी यू राइटिंग एंड यू गो बी इन द एम्प्लॉयमेंट ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट सो आपको जो कुछ भी रिक्वायरमेंट्स उनसे होंगी किसी भी कॉन्टेक्स में किसी भी सिचुएशन में आपको वहीं से आंसर्स मिल जाएंगे इफ दे रिलीफ कैम्प द रिलीफ मटीरियल फर्स्ट एंड फोर मोस्ट बेसिक अम्यूनिटीज हैव दे बिन सप्लाइड और नॉट अब ये क्या क्या होते हैं बहुत ही एक बच्चे से भी आप पूछ लेंगे तो शायद वो थोड़ा सा दिमाग लगा के आपको बता देगा कि रोटी कपड़ा मकान वाली जो चीज़ है जो कि राइट हट एरिया में हो सकता है अगर कैंप्स लगने की नौबत आ गई है तो हमें उनकी ज़रूरत होगी सो फूड फर्स्ट एड वाटर क्लोथ्स मेडिसिन सैनिटेशन ये कुछ ऐसी चीज़ें हैं कि अगर एक रिलीफ कैंप में नहीं हुई एंड थिंक लॉजिकली हेयर अगर रिलीफ कैंप में नहीं हुई यू कैन डू एनी थिंग your basic human rights are going to be violated and as a government officer this is the area that you need to focus upon and build information as if your family and you were hit by that riot now second <clears throat> always think about the vulnerable section and here you could also add the elderly kyunki teen mostly uh, teen mostly dekhe aapke vulnerable mein aate hain अगर हम बहुत ब्रॉडली बात करें वैसे वर्नरेबल सेक्शंस में काफ़ी आ जाते हैं बट विमेन चिल्ड्रन एंड द एल्डरली कुछ भी होता है दीज थ्री ब्रॉडली एंड पीपल ऑफ कोर्स विद डिसेबिलिटीज बट इनके ऊपर और एक्स्ट्रा प्रॉब्लम्स आ जाती हैं सो ऑलवेज थिंक फ्रॉम देयर पर्सपेक्टिव क्या हो सकता है सैनिटरी पैड्स आर द नंबर वन थिंग दैट यू कैन राइट एंड रिमेंबर ड्राफ्टिंग में आई न्यू नीड यू टू गो एंड रीविजिट द फर्स्ट वीडियो दैट आई हैड रिलीज ऑन ड्राफ्टिंग बहुत ज़रूरी है कि यू आर कंसाइज एंड यू राइट टू द पॉइंट तो आपको यहाँ पे ऐसे भी नहीं लिखना है कि ये ये चीज़ें चाहिए ये चाहिए ये चाहिए बस टू द पॉइंट ऑल द इम्पॉर्टेंट एंड द वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग्स यू कैन पिक अप एंड गेट द जॉब डन गेट द मैक्सिम मार्क्स हैव अ सक्सेसफुल एग्जाम सो सैनिटरी पैड्स आ जाएंगे इफ़ यू कैन थिंक फ्रॉम द पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू ऑफ एल्डरली एंड चिल्ड्रेन मोर एक आध पॉइंट ऑफ वहाँ डाल दीजिएगा आउटब्रेक ऑफ एनी डिजीज और इलनेस जब क्लस्टर्ड फॉर्म में कोई रह रहा है साथ में टेंट्स में रह रहा है सो so, इस चीज़ की संभावना इस चीज़ की पॉसिबिलिटी बहुत बढ़ जाती है ऑफकोर्स लॉ एंड ऑर्डर सिचुएशन हैव टेकन फ्रॉम द क्वेश्चन इट सेल्फ वहाँ पर क्राइम्स भी तो हो सकते हैं रेप्स हो सकते हैं हेरसमेंट uh, हो सकता है किसी भी चीज़ के लिए क्योंकि बहुत ही लिमिटेड बहुत लिमिटेड रिसोर्स हैं जब भी लिमिटेड रिसोर्स होते हैं आपके कॉन्फ्लिक्ट आते हैं अगर एक ही पैकेट है खाने का और चार लोग हैं लड़ेंगे क्या करेंगे और नाउ दे हैव द क्वेश्चन हैज आस्ट यू योर पर्सनल ऑब्जर्वेशन द फैक्ट्स दैट नीड टू कम आउट ऑफ योर पर्सनल ऑब्जर्वेशन एंड द लैकुनाज वॉट आर दीज द गैप्स इन द एफर्ट्स दैट आर प्रेजेंट इतना हो गया है इतना करना है एंड द मेजर्स टू बी टेकन सो यू नीड टू थिंक फॉर बोथ द प्रेजेंट एंड द फ्यूचर बिकॉज ये आपको क्वेश्चन में लिखा है कि अगर आगे भी जाके ऐसी कोई सिचुएशन अराइज होती है तो आपके सजेशन उसको भी कवर करते होने चाहिए ओके सो दे नीड टू बी इन सच अ मैनर दैट दे कुड बी यूज फॉर द फ्यूचर इज वेल नाउ द फॉर्मैट टाइप्स ऑफ केसेज अच्छा दिस इज समथिंग दैट अगेन विल हेल्प यू लॉट एंड आई थिंक इट विल गिव यू लॉट ऑफ कॉन्फिडेंस आई ऑलवेज यूज गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया रिसोर्सिस सो वेन एवर आई कॉन्ट फाइंड एनी फॉर्मैट और वेन एवर आई यू नो want to look up any information i only open the pdfs from the ministry of uh, this department of personal sorry and your government of india ptfs so ye mujhe wahi se mila hai now there are a number of drafting and noting formats and ye wala specifically kyunki bolta hai ki aapko ek report draft karni hai to aap sochenge ki report likhni hai ki noting karna hai ki drafting karna hai kya karna hai in that case this is going to help you a lot i've taken it from that pdf so in that pdf they've given us these formats most of the cases of noting in the government of india can be divided into the following five categories ephemeral cases hote rehte hain theek uh, sorry kabhi kabhi hote hain routine repetitive cases ek hi format rahega inka inka jawab bhi mostly ek hi rehta hai action and correspondence is pe aapko utna nahi dhyan dene ki zarurat but hamara wala jo hai wo ye hai problem solving cases प्लानिंग एंड पॉलिसी भी अगर कोई क्वेश्चन कभी आएगा यू कैन शेयर इट विद मी एंड मैं उसके हिसाब से भी आपको करा दूंगी सो so, हमें जो देखना है वो ये है प्रॉब्लम सॉल्विंग केसेस इन दीज केसेस अ डिटेल्ड नोट प्रोवाइडिंग मैक्सिमम इन्फॉर्मेशन ऑन ईच एस्पेक्ट विल बी नेसेसरी इवन देन द नोट शुड बी कंसाइज अगेन लाइक ए सेट इन द प्रीवियस स्लाइड एंड टू द पॉइंट कवरिंग द फॉलोइंग एस्पेक्ट्स वॉट इज द प्रॉब्लम 
आप इसके हिसाब से आपको सोचना है बट अगर आप इन, आपके पास ये छः पॉइंट नहीं भी होते ना तो भी मैं आपको बोल रही हूँ मैं आप में उतना कॉन्फिडेंस डाल रही हूँ कि आप उसको सोच लेते वैसे एंड दिस इज़ द कॉन्फिडेंस डेट यू नीड टू कैरी विथ योर सेल्फ इन द एग्जामिनेशन हॉल एज वेल ना हाउ ठीक है हाउ डू वी डू दैट आई हैव रेड दिस लेटर आई हैव द आंसर दैट यू विल सी नाउ आई हैव प्रिपेयर इट बिफोर हैंड सो हाउ हैज़ द प्रॉब्लम अरिजन वॉट इज़ द रूल पॉलिसी ऑफ प्रेसिडेंट इफ एनी अब यहाँ पे आप बोलेंगे कि कितने रूल्स हम पढ़ के जाएँ हमें कैसे पता होगा आई विल टेल यू हाउ टू टैकल दिस इज़ वेल इफ़ यू हैव सम सम वेरी बेसिक नॉलेज ऑफ योर करेंट अफेयर्स एंड आई विल टेल यू इन द लास्ट लाइट हाउ दैट इज़ टू बी डन एज वेल What are the possible solutions? What is the best solution? What will be the consequences? अब हमको ये broad मैंने आपके साथ एक format share कर दिया है ना problem solving noting case. However, you need to always keep the question in mind and always always answer the demand of that question. आप इसको question पर नहीं थोपेंगे आप question में देखेंगे कि यहाँ से कितनी चीज़ें वो पूछ रहा है एंड extra क्या पूछ रहा है and that is how you need to think and it's not that difficult. आपको डिफ़िकल्ट ये चीज़ तभी बनाई जाएगी जब आप रोड लर्निंग में या फिर एकदम ना रट्टा मारने वाली चीज़ में आप बिलीव करते होंगे कि ये छः हमने पढ़ लिए अब कोई भी क्वेश्चन आएगा हम उसी पे एकदम चिपका देंगे उसको बट ऐसे नहीं होता है ऐसे तो कहीं नहीं होता है तो वो गलती आप अगर नहीं करेंगे डायनामिक रहेंगे बहुत ज़्यादा अपनी थिंकिंग में और क्वेश्चन और सिचुएशन के हिसाब से तुरंत सोच लेंगे मैक्सिमम नंबर्स आपको मिल जाएंगे वो आपसे कोई छीन ही नहीं सकता नाउ आई हैव ऑलरेडी गिवन यू द फॉर्मेट ऑफ अ ड्राफ्ट right in the previous videos that i've shared with you on youtube you have that but i'm still giving you the format again because if noting and drafting is in your syllabus and they say draft a report draft a letter follow this format and the structure the content that you will put in will be taken from the question itself like we did earlier the way i taught you use the question see the things that they've mentioned in what order because that's mostly the order that they want the answer in as well and use this format panic nahi karna hai ki inhone achanak se kuch aur humse puch liya hai because my attempt would be to discuss everything today in this video i'm also discussing the press communique which is very unique in its format you can't just you know write any format there even the drafting format does not work there so I will from my side try that I do all the formats but even then if in the exam noting and drafting is in the syllabus and they say draft something follow this blindly but <clears throat> the content and the structure take the help of the question and the details given therein it will help you a lot you will not need anything else and again when you see my solved example keep coming back to this format and see that it follows this only it might look different it might look like a report to some but it follows this format so we have done this drafted a report all right so there you have this now this is the subject okay a short crisp subject review of relief camps of kokrajhar with suggestions because this is what the question is essentially asking you review kar dijiye suggestions de dijiye khatam when you review something you give the pros the cons the requirements etc now a small brief if you go back to i'm not going back and forth to the format but if you keep the format in front of you you will see ke unhone pehle ek chhota sa aapse brief manga hai ke humko aap brief bata dijiye ke aapke note mein agar kisi ko upar upar se dekhna hai ki unhone kya likha hai so they can get that idea and the examiner will see this and get the idea ke theek hai yahan pe humko full number dene hain so the right hit areas of kokrajhar have relief camps that have accommodated i've given a random not extreme number that could be possible 980 families but are in need of more accommodation and supplies for additional families seeking refuge kyunki kuch issue agar humko nikalna hai ki kya ho sakta hai possibly kyunki right hit area mein casualties or families impacted badhte hi jate hain you can't put a cap on it and say bas ab ho gaya and this is where we are stopping that doesn't happen so i assume that additional families might be seeking refuge hamare resources kam pad rahe honge unki supply chahiye hogi the report has reviewed the material supplied and utilized the condition of law and order this i have taken from the question in the camps and has offered suggestions on the lacunas that need to be addressed khatam the conclusion and the brief oh, sorry the introduction and yet the brief is over and the examiner knows this is someone who knows what he or she is writing now following the format i've put numbers and i've put brief subtitles 
for the person reading it for it to become very accessible for them okay नंबर वन द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग मस्ट कम अबव अगर आपको चोट लगी है तो पहले आप खाना नहीं मांगेंगे पहले आप दवा मांगेंगे सो रिव्यू ऑफ मटीरियल सप्लाइड एंड यूटिलाइज द डिस्ट्रिक्ट एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन एज सप्लाइड फूड पैकेट्स वाटर बॉटल्स वुल इन क्लोथ्स कीपिंग इन माइंड द लो टेम्परेचर एंड हैज मेड मेक शिफ्ट वॉशरूम फैसिलिटीज दिस आई हैव अज्यूम्ड दैट पर हैव सिफ आई कैन इफ इट्स असाम ओके बिकॉज इट वॉज फॉर दैट एग्जाम एंड आई कैन अज्यूम नोइंग हैविंग अ बेसिक knowledge of the temperature or the weather conditions that have an impact on relief camps that are relief camps mein kya hai these are tents ye aapke concrete building mein ac aur heater laga ke aapko nahi milta hai ye bahut hi zyada vulnerable setups hote hain so of course weather is going to have a role to play here and this is out of a very basic understanding agar yahi area uh, for example koi coastal area hota we could have easily put in flooding or here also flooding could have occurred assam has a lot of floods so आपको थोड़ी सी वो नॉलेज जोग्राफिकल लगानी है टू एड दोज एक्स्ट्रा ब्राउनी इन्फॉर्मेशन पॉइंट्स इन योर नोटिंग ड्राफ्टिंग एनी थिंग दैट यू राइट सो वुल इन क्लोथ कीपिंग इन माइंड द लो टेम्परेचर एंड हैज मेड मेक शिफ्ट वॉशरूम फैसिलिटीज हाउ एवर एंड सी सिर्फ इट हैज़ टू बी ब्रीफ टू द पॉइंट क्विकली यू डोंट नीड टू मेक स्टोरीज देर सो quickly coming to the critical part however necessary sanitary material for women and girls such as sanitary pads are out of stock and need immediate delivery medicines for fever cough also need to be supplied very general points very probable points that these could be areas where people are suffering and need help in those relief camps condition of tents and washrooms so now i come to the next important thing more tents need to be put up and the present ones need to be cleaned as they are surrounded by mud due to rainfall very probable very very uh, important as well because it becomes very difficult i've said very so many times it becomes extremely difficult then <clears throat> okay the makeshift washrooms are also in need of cleaning and repair otherwise disease out spread could occur due to insanitary conditions could happen if you do not clean those spaces it could easily happen now next important thing law and order keeping to the crux of the matter as much as possible policemen and guards appointed have maintained the law and order situation however due to oh i've written do it is due due to increasing strength in the camps there have been few scuffles over limited food packets and medicines in future more policemen would be required for patrolling and the limited food packets has been addressed here that you need more so again another important very very important rule that you need to follow is do not repeat information already mentioned again and again so i have not done that and i have given you an example of how to not do it i could have written here again also to give this this because it doesn't have but i've already said it ke kam hai you supply it right now you come to the suggestions which you have to give a decent importance to since they've directly asked you more camps to be set up on priority basis of course more families are coming in so this needs to be done critical medicines and sanitary pads supply should not be hampered relief material food packets water clothes to be arranged for incoming families more washrooms to be, to be set up with employment of permanent staff for cleaning the washrooms very very important and i would say a very innovative solution and suggestion for the examiner to appreciate it staff from the district office to be employed to record details of families such as name age address to maintain records this becomes very important for every aspect of your how much material do you need how much was utilized how many tents washrooms law and order policemen how much do you need it how would you know when you do the basic office keeping activity of record keeping ki theek hai 980 families came out of that let's say 600 are women that's how you will get your numbers for the rest of the material supplied right so this is a very logical detail that you can put in when you think like that that if you were there in both the government side and of course if you were at the side of the or from the side of the people impacted what could your genuine demands be that is how you get your answers i've not read anything on relief camps and riots and i've got all this information just by being empathetic and thinking from these people's perspectives ki inko kya chahiye ho sakta hai now the concluding thing 
for the future as well a dedicated staff and team for record keeping patrolling relief material distribution and cleaning is a must for present and future requirements to ensure human rights and well-being of riot hit population in lieu of assam disaster management guidelines now what did i do here remember that little policy or rules thing now you can't expect ke you know these things nobody knows these things they know this after they enter the government or the service right but if you have a basic 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 understanding of you know disasters such as let's say relief camps here are due to riots lekin relief camps are also set up when there are floods when there are hurricanes etc etc right cyclones so when that happens every state has their disaster management guidelines so we can easily quote this because disaster management uh, guidelines are specifically to maintain your human rights to ensure that you have the basic amenities and facilities and safety at your disposal this is what they are so i use that little extra information and i put it here in the case of this without having to trouble myself and you know punishing myself for not knowing any rules or guidelines and they've asked now what do we do nothing stay chill just use your basic knowledge and write the answer following the format the person his sign and the name the person you know the administrative officer to whom the note is going a sign i've written the name here you could put the sign here and the date end of story now i come directly to the press communique the important little points that i wanted to discuss related to the report that we drafted and this i will discuss at the very end but right now i don't want to you know make the video very long so i just come to this press communique question that was shared by a student thank you so much you shared it on email with me and also in the future you must continue sharing uh, questions with me because that is how the best way to ace any exam to get great marks in it and to get that confidence is solving them so i can go on teaching you theory but i would urge you to share questions that i will continuously keep on you know uh, solving with you and you will get that insight into a variety इतने सारे क्वेश्चन सॉल्व कर लेंगे कि आपको लगेगा कि कुछ ऐसा छूटा ही नहीं है जो एग्जाम में आ जाएगा लेकिन अगर कुछ छूट भी जाएगा ना तो आप मान लीजिए आप ये हैं और बहुत सारे बच्चे हैं जो एग्जाम देंगे और हो सकता है उन्होंने ऐसे ना पढ़ा हो जैसे हमने पढ़ा है साथ तो आप फिर भी बहुत बेटर पोजिशन में होंगे इन सब से क्योंकि ये लोग हो सकता है घबरा जाएँ डर जाएँ क्योंकि इन्होंने प्रैक्टिस उस तरह से नहीं की होगी वो इतनी डाइवर्स वराइटी से एक्सपोज नहीं हुए होंगे जैसे आप हुए हैं तो आप हर हालत में मेंटली बहुत ज़्यादा प्रिपेयर्ड होंगे इनके कंपैरिजन में अगर हम इतने क्वेश्चन सॉल्व कर लेंगे एंड प्रेस कम यूनिक इज वेरी वेरी यूनिक इन इट सो दिस इज द क्वेश्चन अगेन यूज द क्वेश्चन एज एवरीथिंग दैट यू नीड टू राइट द आंसर इट हैज ऑल द डिटेल्स एंड व्हेन यू विल सी माय आंसर जस्ट कंपेयर इट विद दैट it is following that format i have given you the format but despite that it is all the information that i have taken and written there and i have also taken my inspiration from pib because again the format that i share with you it follows the pib structure the government of india structure so you can see that i stick to the format and i use all the information given here i do not bring any outside knowledge so that i tell you again and again and again and again and i show you ke dekho question is all that you need okay so <clears throat> i'm not again reading this i will go to the format and then the solution but before that this is also from the <coughs> goi pdf <coughs> it again says what's a press communique it is used with a view to give wide publicity to a government decision it is more formal and has to be reproduced verbatim so as it is said all the same words by the minister or by the government person whoever it is that's giving or delivering the communique it has to be reproduced just that way and then the press can you know uh, sort of change the structure keeping the content same so not the rest of it not really necessary for us but this is also a very 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 important format for government to disseminate information about their programs about what they are doing and so since this question has come 
you must be prepared with it. At least you should know. You should not be shocked in the exam if by chance this comes. Okay, what is this? Okay. Now, again, G O I P D F. I can share it with you if you want. If you trust it, follow it. I would say it's a very good source. It's a, the most legitimate source. But if you trust it, follow it. Now, you may not write this part and you may not write this part. This has to, has to, has to. This one has to be there. But you may not write it if you do not want because it follows that electronic form of communication and if you're writing it, you may not follow it. But in my answer, I've used it. So, beginning from here, it says that you write this and I would say add a title because PIB does it. It's like a subject. The way we did in the report, here it's after press communique or note you write the title works wonders i will tell you all the information comes here here the department and the ministry information will come and here very 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 crucial a lot of students ask me do we write our own name no you cannot in any circumstance write your address or your own name you need to create <coughs> a fictitious name any name so many names are there don't write your name please and you can write, see, stick to join Secretary of Government of India if you want. Or if any ministry is given, you may write it from their behalf. Okay? Or on their behalf. But write fictitious names and don't get confused over such small things. Okay? Should we write our name or not? Avoid your own name and in letters, avoid your own address. So now we will go on to the solution. So now, I have completely, you know, sticked to the format discussed before here the date and the time details have been given you may ignore them now the important thing press communique or note success of swach vidyale initiative a very crisp and short title works i am telling you it works otherwise it looks very naked and incomplete okay, what is this okay now due to the sincere efforts of the states and uts of india just keep on comparing with the question and tell me if I've written anything that's way off the mark or something that I've brought outside from outside knowledge and which only I might have known because I have read about it because you will not find anything of that sort, okay? Keep on comparing. Due to the sincere efforts of the states and UTs of India, <coughs> the target of building over 4.17 lakh toilets in 2.61 lakh under Swachhavadhyale initiative to provide separate toilets for the has been achieved. Great. Shri Sushal Kumar, fictitious name and Shri, something that I have noticed in PIB, Shri or Srimati, it is good if you stick to it. Honorable Dash Minister. So, honorable, if you add it, it will be very, very, you know, a good move. They will know and they will perhaps give you brownie points that this person is aware of how <coughs> government you know communication is handled because this is this honorable we do use so honorable hrd minister has conveyed his happiness and gratitude to all state health ministers uts the public sector and that participated in the initiative and helped to achieve the target successfully any new information that you found till now no the honorable minister also acknowledged the hard work and contribution of officers of government of India, observers, schools, NGOs, civil society organizations that led to the initiative's time-bound delivery. If the only new thing that you may have found is here. And now, you may ask me how, ma'am, where, how, kaise aagya? See, it's very simple logic that something of this sort in Vidyale will not be possible without your schools. Something in the Vidyale and related to boys and girls will always have NGOs and civil society organizations because this is something that needs a behavioral change. This is something that needs awareness. And NGOs and civil society organizations, very small NGOs as well, you know, across uh, the colonies <coughs> or near, uh, near the schools, very small NGOs, even near your schools or your colleges are working continuously. They don't have to be huge NGOs. Small, small NGOs also keep on working on this. So this is by pure simple logic that something that requires a behavioral change and is related to your schools will of course need the help and support of these. That's it.
nothing extra has been added and then i come to department of health ministry of human resource development another thing here if you sit and talk about what is the ministry called now what should the ministry be let me tell you once and for all unless and until i have not talked about health and mentioned department of economic affairs which is way off the mark it is all right because we don't know how old this question is right and we should not be bothered by that whatever information was given since it was human resource development and the format also mentioned health you can even write education that does not matter because in human resource development your education health everything comes but the only thing you should be aware of it should not be way off the mark ministry of foreign, foreign affairs for vidyalaya that should not be the case other than that be well versed with the current departments or ministries but use the question if the question gives you some particular ministry use that only do not go beyond that <clears throat> random note number here any note number but don't leave this blank you may you know miss this one now again random name but it has to be there do not put your name random name and the designation if you can't think of anything else just put in joint secretary because we have got this from that government of india pdf so if nothing works this will work all right now i will tell you how to get that confidence always keep in mind this you have all the information that you need i literally gave just 2 hours of my time to these two questions and the format and the uh, creation of the ppt and the answer solution and it was done i didn't bother to read about it because i know if this was in the actual exam and i was writing that exam i would not have that luxury mere paas wo time wo resources wo वो यू नो ग्रीन सिग्नल नहीं होता कि टीचर मुझे आके फोन दे और बोले कि बेटा तुम्हारे पास चलो एक घंटा एक्स्ट्रा है रीड अपॉन इट फ्रॉम द इंटरनेट एंड देन जस्ट राइट इट इन योर आंसर कॉपी नो इन नो ड्रीम ऑफ माइंड दैट्स गोना हैपन सो आई नीड टू गो इन विद दैट कॉन्फिडेंस ऑल द इन्फॉर्मेशन दैट आई रिक्वायर इज देयर विद इन मी आई जस्ट नीड टू थिंक फ्रॉम द पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू ऑफ दो स्टेक होल्डर्स ना रीड द क्वेश्चन केयरफुली एंड यूज इट एज योर ब्लू what do i mean by this the question itself will give you the manner in which they want the answer for example the drafting the report they told you the domains where they want the information they told you supplies they told you law and order so they want it in that blueprint format only so use it don't ignore these little clues and details that the examination gives you the headings point structures also come from the question itself the way i created it in the noting uh, the drafting the report you see that all of it is from the question itself just small question but it has all the answers now you must follow the format you trust so i told you i followed the government of india format because ultimately it's the government exams that we are writing these answers for but however if you find some other book some other let's say format and you trust it more follow it at the end of the day you must trust what you are using not i or some xyz person other is saying and you don't have that trust don't use it okay the organization of thoughts is very very important for example in the press communique one it was very limited knowledge but i know that a press communique is small and i have to just use the knowledge given and structure it in that way that job is done similarly with the drafting report organize what has more priority then what must come then after that what do we require when that organization is done you will never have an issue the flow will always be there whenever the person who is reading it to give you the marks when their mind will not stop anywhere and say are ye kahan se aa gaya iske baad ye kahan se aa gaya when that break will not be there they will give you the marks they will be more than happy to give you the marks and that comes with organization think like that think like that always feel if i'm in that situation do i need to talk to my friend first or do i need some food first if i've got the food and i now need to use the washroom should the washroom be clean should i not be getting any diseases there if i have to go in the camp and if the camp is muddy how am i supposed to sleep if the weather is bad where are my warm clothes that is how you get the answers acha this is for 
<coughs> state exams for example i had this one from the assam pcs now if you preparing for state exams i would highly recommend that you read on the issues of the state for example this was one related uh, this was was this one was related to riots and relief camps all right if there's another state in question for example your state is a coastal state so they will have floods if your state is a bordering state it might have refugee crisis so for whichever state's exam you preparing prepare issues that are present in that state you will have more insight while writing the answers because you would have known the issues there so this is something which is state specific and very important and will help you a lot of course these are very broad areas as well and reading about them will never do any harm it will always add on to your knowledge but state specific exams you must read about the issues be confident that you can write on anything this is very crucial you again this goes back circularly to this point you have all the information if today you you should have that confidence and that confidence should be backed by some knowledge and some skills that i've tried to teach you but you should have that faith that any question can come i will not think oh no i have not read about this no that mindset is wrong you should think theek hai ye aa gaya i can write on it i just need to go inside that specimen and think like that and the job's done so today's job is also done and uh, next week also i'll come back with more videos i will ask you all request you all to please send me email me questions because i do check my email send me more questions send me areas that wherein you're stuck and i will give more priority to these however if i do not receive these then i'll pick up pro- uh, probably some essay some pressy some other area that people students want me to work on but priority will be given to questions that you send to me i will create videos on that and share them with you these will be 25 30 minute videos so that you know you can be done with all of it in 15 minutes and move on keep on learning if you have any doubts anything anything at all any <laughs> suggestions do comment and let me know and check my comments as well and it feels really good to be back i will give it my all to be continuous i will keep on making videos one video per week works for both me and for you because if it's continuous it will the knowledge will keep on accumulating and uh, yeah keep keep spreading the love keep loving my channel keep supporting me because that is the only thing that uh, i want to ask back as let's say guru dakshina that's it so i love you all and again it's so good to be back keep studying keep in touch with me see you next week